Hey, hey, Doc, go crazy. Yep, here we go. Yo, yo, yo. All right. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, what's really going on? You know what time it is. Sotopia Radio is back. I don't even know. I don't even know what number we on, to be honest. We ain't even going. The solo edition. Yeah, there we go. go Sotopia solo takeover. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is the solo takeover. I'm glad that we got a name for this show. It's always it's always good to have you know something to look forward to like that. I had a I actually had a Beast on here. Yeah, we were, we were yeah. talk we were talking about some stuff. I didn't you know it's why I didn't post that show. Why didn't you post that show? I just didn't yet. Oh, you didn't like yet. yeah okay. at that especially at that time it was hot. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't. Yeah, because I'm gonna give it away. Yeah, that's that show is hot. That's, so that's exclusive. And and in that time it was hot. So. <clears throat> You know, now the stuff has died down a little bit. A tad bit. I can't even say a little bit. Yeah, a tad bit. Tad Not a bit. lot of bit. Not, Not a lot of bit. Just a, a, a small. It's really, it's really, it's really, it's really small. Really, really small. It's really small. So, with that being said, what up? What's happening? What's up, everybody? This is Solo. I am Dot Soul. And um, today, we're going to just talk about everything. I got Solo is... Let me Let me do a formal... Introduction real quick Alright here's, here's how I gotta do it All right. <clears throat> So who I have on my show today Is um, for one He's a legend From where he's from Yeah He's a legend In the community He's a part of Which is the Crump community He's a legend in What Crump is a part of Which is the dance community So he's uh, Three times the legend <laughs> <laughs> This is Big Solo. What's up, everybody? My OG, hey, Crumb Veteran. My brother, though. The, yeah. Pa- past all the, the titles we just said, this is my brother right here. Bros, for sure. Yes. So, Solo's a really good friend of mine. Um, guided me through a lot of this uh, Crump and artistic stuff that we do. Because yep. bro's smart, and he's done it. He's been around the world. Yeah, yeah. 20 years now, 20 years. What? And three years in clown dancing before I entered crime. Clown dance. So, so, so 23 years in the culture entirely. So how how was how was how was the clown? Everybody seen Solo the Crump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was how was Solo the Clown? Were you even Solo the Clown? Um, we're not going to talk about the nickname cuz Solo <laughs> came with the Crump. Okay. So we're not going to talk about the nickname and <laughs> I'm not going to embarrass myself that way. Just know that it was in the lines of like Scooby Doo and like Close to something like that. It wasn't Scooby Doo the Clown, but it was in the lines of that direction, and that is terrible. I'm so, only guessing right no, now. No, yeah, we're not going. <laughs> and even if you guess it right, I'm gonna deny it. So, Solo the Clown. We're gonna leave it there. How was that? He was man. I was at every party. I was in every hood that I wasn't supposed to be in because of a party. And I was just having a blast at that time. I was real hungry. Um, not really hungry as far as like what you could get out of dance. I, mm-hmm. I was really hungry of just getting away of what you could get caught up in in the hood. For sure, right? So you want something different. You know what I mean? Like you'll defend yourself, you'll fight whatever the hood could bring. Whatever. I, I grew up in East Side Long Beach, uh, Washington Middle School, uh, Poly High School. Uh, I guess you could say my purest years past the, that drama was elementary. Mm. But yeah, so I was in the hood, so dancing just made me hungry. That's what I gravitated to. That's what I stuck with. And I just love that feeling. You you're in a party, you dancing with, with your friends, you dancing with the ladies. Yeah. You're getting a little attention and you don't have to fight. You don't. <laughs> so I was addicted to that. Like, yo, wh- when's the next party? What wh- what's the, what's the, when's the next function? Like, yo, I ain't gotta look over my shoulder. Yeah, you know what we I'm ain't saying? trying yeah. to be violent. Nah, what? Mm-hmm. You're, dance. you're gonna be looked at weird if you're focused on another man versus all the women in the building. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yo, you want to pay attention to that? <laughs> you I never understood that. Oh, who does? Never. Do I never people understood go to clubs to, to to. If you go to clubs or you go to parties to start trouble, don't get it twisted. If you grew up in the hood, I understood that. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like in the old the, the the whole sense of everything. Like, yo, you're going to a party to jam. Like, yo, the DJ's rocking. 
you got your fit, you your your street fresh. You know what I'm saying? You get right. the attention. Yeah, of course. Who who wants to cause trouble at that time? Man, you want to you you the man when you walk through. Come on, <laughs> all the ladies, right? Like, why you gonna beat <laughs> up the dude that you know attracts all the ladies? You're That's definitely weird. you you'll definitely Pause. identify the hater, the hater, dude, the hater, whoever, whatever or whoever the hater is is very. Very clear at a party. Very. <laughs> hey, haters are evident. Yeah. yeah. Evident. Evident. What? Don't dap you up. Mm-hmm. Talk about your fit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, that's that's basically it. And I was clown dancer for three years before Crumpy. You know hmm. what I'm saying? And I was I was really, really a student of the game. Um, there was a DVD for clown dancing called Hardball. I was continuously... I was addicted to that. That was... If everybody, if you played an album all day, I played that DVD all day. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I, yeah. There was even a moment where, I don't condone this, but I would ditch school because I wanted to practice. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't condone that now. But back then, that's just what solo, that was the journey on who who I am today. That's what I was doing. Stay, that's, and that's stay how in I was school. Really, yeah, stay in school. Don't ditch. You could practice after school. Yeah, or even, even during, <laughs> or even during like one right. time. I remember right. I would go into the uh, dance room. Yeah. In high school, well, when I first started crumb dancing, that's, yeah. where, that's where I go. But, and it was different. There was yeah. not a lot of teachers. There's no such thing as workshops for me at that time. Right. So the way I really learned how to clown, like the first growing up where I grew up, clown walking, sea walking, all that, that's just like cultural. Like that's what the streets was doing. That's what you're seeing in the music videos, everything. So even with that, like because I was poor, I didn't have a TV, I didn't have a radio. Mm. So I would just see my friends rapping whatever lyrics they're rapping. I'll memorize the lyrics that they're rapping. And then I'll just image, I'll vividly remember how their skip was. Whatever the rhythm that they caught when they were rapping, that was the vision that I would use or memory, right, to practice. Come on. So if whatever the lyrics were, I'll rap it, and then I'll just remember the rhythm that they would do. And that was how, those were my workshops. Wow. That's how I practice. So, yeah, I come from a different, a different, different era. <laughs> so, so from the clown into the crump. Yes. What? Now, did you make the jump because everybody else was, or what? What would lead you towards Crump besides continuing clowning? Um, I think I really connected with the self-expression part okay. of Crump. That's why I really picked it. I was from a clown group called Rice Track. We was really, really. A, it was really a different time. Um, Clown dancing had something called stripper dancing. It was a bunch of street dances put together, right? Right. Uh, just so we could kind of shoot through that. So we had stripper dancing. So there's like, you know, 18 and over, right? So there's a strip club for the ladies called the Right Track. All Filipinos, we called it Rice Track. So it was an all clown dancing crew. It was kind of like, I guess you could say it was trolling because that broke the ice. Like, what the hell? What What is Rice Track? Like, what is that? You feel right. me? But then when you see us dance... That's just what it was. I didn't create Rice Track. I actually joined Rice Track. Boom. Right? So I just to set the, the record straight. So the big bros kind of like brought me in. Like I did house parties. They did clubs. So even my clown dancing jumped up. But when it came to the evolution of Crump, House of Clowns brought us. We bumped into a clown group called House of Clowns. And mm-hmm. they kind of took us under their wing. And then they brought us to their practice where they were connected with Cartoons Family. And they were letting us know, like, yo, clown dancing is cool and all, but we're crumping now. Ah. And that's when that was the introduction because we pulled up a bunch of Asians, you know what I'm saying, from Long Beach going to Compton, right. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying, going to a whole right. other city. You know what I mean? The lingo, the colors we were wearing were completely different. Right. You know what I mean? It was not accepted. I'll tell you that. You get know what I mean? If you know what Long Beach is, you know what the city is. And now we're going to a, the opposite. <laughs> Ops. You know that word, ops. That's what the kids say. Yeah, ops. The opposite, you feel yeah. me? And the dance actually broke the ice for us to even be welcome. Mm. You know, it's really, really, um, I don't want to take it away. I'm I'm an OG in the community we're from. Right. So you're, I'm going to always hear people say dancing saved my life, mm. which is very true, especially when it comes from this era. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because before clowning, even if you want to break it down, L.A. riots. That, that was that was very vicious for the city mm-hmm. for the people there was a, a straight line and then you got gang banging in the cities so clown dancing really broke those walls down you're going to cities to dance whoa wait, wait hold on who are you where you from who who you with right oh you dance okay cool 
Oh, you clown. Oh, that's clown walking. You're not. You're not crip walking. You're not blow walking. Oh, that's clown dancing. Okay, you're not from. Okay, cool. Like, that's not how the conversation verbatim went. Right. But it because people are starting to get the vibe that the dance is bringing us together. The dance is what's now allowing cities to actually kick it with other people from the cities mm -hmm. because of the dance and it's bringing people to the parties. That's what it was about. Right. And expect you know you got Tommy the Clown, Battle Zones. You got different hoods coming together, and now you got you got all that. So. Cool, cool. Yeah. Hey, look, check this out. We do this. We do this thing where we do a little talking, and yep, then yep. I ask, like, what are your two, three favorite songs you like, you like hearing, or that you bumping right now? And then I bump them, and then we come back and talk some more shit. Okay, so the top three songs. Okay. Uh, I can't. I give you two. Okay, I'm gonna name two albums that I constantly blast. Okay, okay. Then then we'll break it down from there. Okay, Victory Lap, Nipsey cool. Hussle, yeah. right? All right, R. P. I haven't heard any whack blast songs, so I, I'm gonna just name the last two. The last two albums, I, I keep those on repeat. All right. So you know from those saying? albums, all right. My favorite, <laughs> yeah. my favorite track from Victory Lap, I would say, uh, um, the intro. Boom. The so intro is we, we might have to even start the show with that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the intro of Victory Lap really speaks to to me. Okay. I love what Nipsey talks about. For sure. Right. And then when it comes to Blast, he's a vibe. Right. Especially when it comes to Crump, you can get a uh, muscle memory with the music we listen to and what we we provide in our own community. Mm -hmm. So Blast just gives a different vibe, different melodies, different tempos to play. So anyone, actually anyone, I promise you, any track I love. <laughs> All right, for sure. So we're going to take a little small little break. Yep. And then we, uh, we're going to listen to those songs. Who, who knows when those songs are going to come on? You might hear it in the beginning. You might yep. hear them now. You feel me? You, know, you never know. We're going to find out when you hear the hey. show. <laughs> so Toby Radio to the top. What's to the side? top. What's up? Rip it in so I can rock it out serious Make a nigga shout on hard So what you talking about And we're not familiar Man, we're familiar Bitch, you so bad We're not familiar Got my style, I'm familiar Together we can leave But I know some of you niggas on the ball They still ain't so Let them get it up Put some Put some lightness Ah! Sotopia Radio Welcome back I know y'all hear this song The song is always good who, who, Who's that right there? Who is that? Let them know, let them know Y'all let them know Hey, this is me Yes, that's Top and Soul Actually, I did this mashup with myself Lil Uzi and Gunna Hey you know what? I'm gonna let y'all hear a little easy verse. It's pretty hard. Hey, I'm gonna give you the song too, Pops, so they know we here. We'll play a little bit and then we're gonna fade out because this is hard. What? We be talking crazy. You beat me to the club like a domestic. I came to the club and it gave me a section. Hawk on my track and my truck on my black. Saint Laurent Trench Corey going my jacket. Pull up by Lemon. Crazy. Come on. Can't give him all that. Cool. Welcome back, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. I am Dot Soul. This is Sotopia Radio. Got Solo in here with me. So you just got a little introduction to Solo, Crump and whatnot. So, so from. Clowning to Crump, how did you make a name for yourself in Crump to be considered like, like the introduction I gave you to be considered like you know legend in your community and the 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 community that you know it's all involved in. You know how uh, how did we how did we make that happen? Um. All right. So first of all, being in an all Filipino crew was already making us stand out. But then when it was from the transition from clowning to crumping. Mm -hmm. I think because crumping clicked for me quicker than the bros in the fa uh, in in the crew, that made me stand out uh, a little bit faster with the the first generation crumpers right. that we we all look up to and love. Um, but on top of that, past like yo, I want to be good at crumping, not because I don't want to hear he's good because he's Asian. Right, you know what I mean. So automatically early when I was a teenager, I already knew that's I didn't want to hear that. Then on top of that, I didn't want to hear, you know, I've always been plus size. 
oh, he's good for being big. I hated that. You Man, know what I'm saying? So, do I feel you? <laughs> so, I guess that kind of, um, and because I was hungry, I knew that, you know, in Crump, we call it labbing. You know what I'm saying? And in and, and Crump, we call it sessioning. Um, but my goal when I was in the lab was to create things and be timeless. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm, I'm an amateur, but at that moment when I start creating and people start listening and I mean, uh, watching and paying attention to me, I want to be able to be, create things that will still be good and be able to still be used and remixed years later. So because of that mindset behind the fire, you All know right. what I'm saying, that yeah. was lit under me, kind of was what made it happen because I was catching every, you know, you could battle all the time. Right. Right, but you could look repetitive. But right. because I had that that fuel under that fire, it made sure, like, yo, I, it's like I looked at it as music. My next battle is my album. Okay. This next album can't look like or sound like the, the, the last, last project. One. Yeah, not right? at all. So I put that pressure under me. And because I put that pressure, it it drove me. That was the car of all the creation that I did in the lab. Hmm. And because that was the mindset, you know, there's a couple hit or misses. But that's a part of the journey and that's a part of the lessons. But I feel like there's a lot of things. Not a lot, but there's some things that I'm known for that are considered timeless. And I feel like uh, you got to do that early. Because that yeah. doesn't happen quick. Right. You know what I mean? You right. can't just say, I want to create something now, and then you, you hit that timeless moment tomorrow. You got yeah. to earn that. You earn just it. can't say it. For sure. Everybody wants to sound romantic, but you got to put in time to make it really, really lit. Yeah, really stand out. <laughs> yeah, bro. People learn how to make a documentary. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. You know, people learn. Yeah. I had to learn how to, you know, I had to learn how to crump dance. Yeah. Yeah. I had to learn but how to make hours, music. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. You know what I'm saying? You could, you know, like, Dance as a whole picture, everything's moving at the same time. But when you really, when you really, really want to improve, I'm gonna do a lot of other workouts that just complement one little shift I'm trying to make in the dance. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because I'm plus size, I'm working out extra too. Extra. You get what I'm saying? So now I, I need to build muscle. I need to build my stamina. It was mm -hmm. always different. It's always different for a person that's shifting weight. Right. You know what I mean? Because yes. it technically doesn't, it doesn't mean you're fat. You mm -hmm. can be tall with a lot of weight on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Dense. Yeah, exactly. I so, know a lot of sm little, short, dense people. Right. And they're hard. And then you ask them how they weigh. Wait, you're like, what? You weigh that much? Like, wow. and you're not fat? Like, right. So that entire concept, that entire idea just, yeah, that's just what I took. And that's what it was. Like, and two, I was respectful. I wasn't, bro. Um, I mean, I'm going to just say it out there. Like, yo, I. Even though that I was, it's cool to be the first Asian. Mm -hmm. I, off bat, this dance was created by black men and black women. Right. I'm I'm second generation vet, right? Mm -hmm. So automatically, just know that there's a generation above me that opened the door for me. For yourself. So I, it didn't start with me. Right. I I received and I actually gained some stuff because of first generation. So mm -hmm. that was very very easy for me. And, I, and because of that, I was able to be respectful. I was able to come up respectful. Okay. You know? I feel like you just got to choose that, too. I don't need to talk junk. I don't need to right. talk shit about you. I didn't know if we could curse. No, yeah, you what? Oh, okay, cool. So, shit. yeah, I didn't need to talk shit about first generation. Mm -hmm. I already knew who they were, and I appreciated them. They were right. street legends to me. Right. So I just want to make sure th for me to pay it forward is whenever somebody looks at me, I don't make the dance look foolish. Okay. So that was, that was easy. That was in my teenager years. Teenage. So with all the time, you know what I'm saying, you make a name for yourself, that definitely comes with a whole bunch of influence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From, you know, what I've seen is literally worldwide. But how have you used your influence to, like, you know, shape your journey? You know, with, you know, because, you know, Crump is a fam, definitely fan base. Although you dance by yourself, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just like you said, you rode with Rice Track. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. there's... Uh, Countless amounts of crews. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, so through the experiences that I've gone through with clown dancing, like, for example, Rice Track, we used to throw our own parties. Mm -hmm. So because of that, that was already the beginning of me learning how to throw an event. Okay. Right. On top of that, even before, like, there was a Crumb Kings form, there was a MySpace, all that, like, we were coding in MySpace, right? Right. So before MySpace, there was Find a Pick. Right. So, so just to those, damn, I'm dating myself. But <laughs> so all these things, right? So we had somebody in the squad that was older, but he was an engineer and he was really, really solved with the computers. 
So we had a rice track website. So before there was a Crumb Kings forum, there was a rice track website mm. that we will put up a flyer for throwing up a party, but then there will be a live chat. Uh-huh. So if I were to get on the live chat at 7 p.m., but somebody was talking shit about us at 12 p.m., I have to scroll through all the dialogue and typing to find it because there's a timestamp. Right. Right? So that was even before, like, screen names. We're getting screen names for AOL. So that journey, when I was just a youngster, that kind of molded me to learn some things, right? And then right. Um, so that was, like, so that was an introduction of what social media promoting and promote event throwing mm-hmm. um, in my life, right? Right. Uh, because of my experiences now, even with jobs, I've learned business. I've learned how to manage money a little bit. Um, and then I learned how to invest in myself in myself. Yourself. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. Because I created my own tour. <laughs> right. So with that, now the way I'm paying it forward now is just sharing the information. Okay. One of the things that I just wish was. You know, you kind of wish that the OGs kind of told you. Right. But when it comes to Crump, it was so special. The OGs was, what, only a year or two before me. So we're all still trying to figure it out. So there still has to be a certain amount of grace over you, the people before you. Correct. So, But because I'm figuring it out and that there's, because Crump grew, there's so many new generations now. There's so many layers in Crump areas. There's OGs in different regions. Right. There was a once, once upon a time, we only considered OGs in California. Right. There's people decade plus in over overseas and all over the United States. Definitely. Right. So now there's really, really layers to crump. So the way I just pay it forward is just share that information. I share that information by letting them know this is how much I, uh, you know, if you get a little part-time job and you put this much money to the side, you can do this type of tour. Right. And two, you know what I'm saying? Because I've toured before, now we, we know what it is to... Like, say, for example, um, now I learned how to collab. Because solo, I have a business called Lowe's Town. That's who I am. We did a tour all over the East Coast. Right. Now I have relationships with dance studios. I have relationships with the dance culture, the communities. Cool. Now, if Dot Soul wants to do a tour, it could be promoted by Lowe's Town. And now we have a route to give you. Boom. Now, now Dot Soul could go everywhere Lowe's Town just went. You get what I'm saying? So now yes. I guess you could say we're like the, um, yeah, we're just different. It's a different yeah. level. <laughs> blazing. Yeah, it's blazing for sure. So that's how I pay it forward. I'm just letting them know. You know, I play a lot of the background role now. I'm, you know, retirement of being in the front lines of the battle scene for right. community battles. I'm 20 years in. You can't, ex- you know what I'm saying? So. From 50 to 100 battles a year to now, I'm only giving quality one, two, three. Right. So retirement is coming real, real soon. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop battling because there's still other styles that I'm not. You know, Crump still needs to kill off a couple. I would love to battle some of the best of other styles. Like who? If you have a solo in your name and you're in a different style, I'll battle you. Expect, But you got to be lit in your dance. You can't be a rookie in popping. Right, and your name is Solo. Boom. Right, and oh, oh yeah, I gotta battle you because your name is Solo. No, no, no. If you, if you are, if we have the same accolades as far as like, yo, he's an OG. He's well respected in the community. He's done this. He's done that. Or she. It could be a she too. It doesn't, it, you know, because I said he. It could be whoever. Whoever. Right. If your name Solo and you're in a different dance style. Rounds. Rounds. We could get it cracking. Battle. It depends on the promoters too. So wh- whatever promoter could provide that type of balanced dance battle, I'm with that. Right. I would love to battle any type of B-Boys. You know, Crump always interacted with B-Boys, and always. we never really got the same love. You know what I'm saying? I, I've, I've been to a couple jams where, you know, I got even physical. It got physical when we was young. Like what? Bro, I mean, I, I think the most disrespectful thing was somebody spitting their hand and shook my hand, and that caused the rumble. Yeah, rumble. Oh, rumble. it's over. It's it's nothing but fight. <laughs> it's just Yeah, death. so even when it comes to that, so, Yeah. For sure. Hey, this is the last little break we're going to take you guys. Yes, sir. All right. I love we'll you guys. Right Soultopia forever.
Dot soul, of course. Something else. Y'all heard that? Hey, I didn't even say it. I did say it actually. I did too say it. I said it before you though. You did, but in I, this interview, I also said it. Yeah. So yeah, you also yeah. you heard it double time. Yeah. So solo. Yes. Talks about a few things. Yes. Now, now let's just get let's just get right into it. There's yeah. a situation. Uh huh. Crump Kings. Crump Kings. Okay. Transfer over. Street Kingdom. Yes, sir. Then it was that was like the day the world stood still, ah. especially in our community. Yes, um, it, was, it was. I definitely understand what you're saying. Yeah, it was a wild Tuesday. The split. Yes, the split. The split. The, the, the infamous Street Kingdom split. What? It, <laughs> what? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about All it, right, man. Let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. I, I'm a, from the outside looking in. Here, here's what happened for me. Okay, we're at. Skate park. Yes. I get asked to, you know, go outside because yes. I'm not a part of Street Kingdom yet at this time. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm Knuckleheads' little homie. I think I was even still just young Grizzy at that time. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm but like, you were, you're, you had all of our attention. Yeah, bro, <laughs> you know, I would, I didn't make the young hitters in the, in that, in that thing. We needed to keep you close though. Yeah. Niggas was like, but hey, we, yeah. We're, we're above that. Yeah, we're, above, we're we're way above that now because we're above yeah, that we're now. above we're above yeah, that yeah. now. But here, so I get asked to go outside. Yes, you know. Hey, can you step outside for a second? We're having a meeting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That no. type of vibe. That yes. type of energy. No problem. I'm yeah. outside. Mm-hmm. No lie. Hour fifteen, maybe even hour thirty. Yeah. Everybody come outside and it's just long faces. Yes. Long, and I was like, that meeting couldn't have went well at all. No, it didn't. Heard it, heard it got physical a little bit. It did. A couple people got punched. Yeah, got punched, punched. So allegedly, uh, no, <laughs> no, it wasn't allegedly. Nah, it really, no, some people got, got punched. <laughs> yeah, a couple so, people got punched. You know. So, <laughs> all right. Yes. Now, now you're hearing it from 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 somebody that was in the meeting, in the meeting, and who it you know happened to like be about right. Yeah. Crazy. So, I I, I got. I want y'all to hear it because I know a lot of people have questions and I want to know how everything is now, mm-hmm. like from that point, because that, that changed uh, a trajectory of Crump for sure. Right. OK, so we'll start from that meeting that you're talking about. Right. Right. All right. So Dotso just got asked a couple other people that weren't a part of it. So everybody that was inside, uh, there was layers to it. Right. There's the two leaders, which was Todd Eyes and No Pad's dad. Um, Rich, and then you had the vets, me, Crush, uh, Daisy, Enforcer, RIP, RIP, legend, right? Um, and then you had the heavy hitters like B Dash, Cannon, Knucklehead, Knucklehead, uh, um, the young hitter, etc., right? Because there was so many, yeah. And then you had the young hitters, just every department of Street Kingdom was in this meeting, yes. Um, even some people that just got put on. So they, they just there was like an audition that we were doing on the West Coast and people just finally got through that threshold, finally got their spot. And Swift. they are na- now we are Swift, Clash, man, Swift <laughs> and Clash yep, and yep, Faith. Yep. So people <laughs> went through so much just to get here, just to get this little board meeting. <laughs> right. The, 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 the meetings of the minds and, and it, it didn't go too well. It, it caused a split. Um just to kind of shoot through it, the reasons could have been so many. Talking about it years later, everybody will probably say a different reason. But from what I remember, there was um, it was the heads. Uh, there was an issue. Uh, there was a way that we were moving where it wasn't okay for tie dyes anymore. Um, 
Todd Eyes wasn't rocking with it. There was a friction between Todd Eyes and No Pad's dad. And from there, that's just where it started to overflow. Mm -hmm. And then it just wasn't cool anymore. You know what I mean? Together, for one, it already took forever for us to come together because it was a group of people that did not like each other. But they had the talent, right? So then, so how many walls did we just break down and ego that we put to the side to work together, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't even reach a full 24 months. No. Not a full two years. It was a one and a half, maybe one, one, three quarters of, uh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because, so, yeah, about about a quarter, one year and a, like a quarter. a quarter. Right. Yeah. So, and because the heads, there was a friction, it was easy for the lieutenants and the soldiers to just follow suit. Right. Right. So, originally, the first person that wanted to just call it quits was Todd Eyes. And when Todd Eyes uh, told us that he was dipping, um, you know, his there was a, 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 a there was a nice amount of people that would say, if Todd Eyes is leaving, I'm leaving too. Hmm. Um, and the people that were left in that Street Kingdom room uh, were the people that created Impact. And that gotcha. was me, Crush, Cannon, Notepad, um, and Notepad's dad. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and just like how I told you, there was layers. We even had regions because we, right. at that time we had SK Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had SK Russia. Right, and East then Coast. we just put Kid Eyes Wave on, wow. and he was representing Street Kingdom wow. out there. I don't think yeah. we even considered it at SK Europe yet or mm-hmm. SK Germany. We just knew that Wave just got the Kid Eyes name, and he's about to be a part of SK. Got you. So there, we already had, um, you know what I'm saying? Like since it's all said and done, the already done bag donation was a petty yeah. phrase. Man, but we were together when that happened. Man, it wasn't like. It was the SK split, and then they 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 leveled up on us and got Tokyo and Russia. That that was already the move. Me and Crush was a. If you was a part of SK before the split, understand Solo and Crush gave you the vote, and right. our vote was one of the most important votes that you needed. Correct. My vote counted two, and Crush counted two and a half. Like because I feel like Crush is better than me. He is my brother. My brother is better than me. So he's two and a half votes, and I'm two votes. So gotcha. if he was a part of SK before we were in, I mean, while we were in, just know that our votes mattered the most. So, and yeah, so just to clear that air. So we were together, and we were really, like, we were really creating mm-hmm. some stuff that yeah. people didn't expect. And then that split happened. And then when that split happened, where do you want to go? What's the question? When the split happened... Literally, so you, you you spoke about impact. Yeah. Um, I know you talked about the different regions, yes. like the East Coast. Oh, is, is that was one of the re- that was like the that was also dramatic, and that was also heartfelt. It yeah, hurt because it heavy. we were really really connecting with the East Coast. There's a lot of people who are affected by that. Yeah, like yo man, like if you really know who me and Crush were, and then if you knew the backstory before Street Kingdom between all of our relationships, it really took a lot for us to come together. Right. On top of that, for us to look and for us to not allow daily petty drama to trigger us to think that it was it's the path. Like, for example, hypothetically, let's just say me and Knucklehead got into an argument. I'm not going to bring up the stuff that I didn't like you for two years ago. Right. I'm going to just say, damn, you annoying me. Well, you annoying me, too. We figured out like, yo, we're together. So we're going to figure out how we're going to work these things out. So that's where we were. As men, as 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 t- young adults trying to make s- stuff happen, mm-hmm. so same. So now, when we have a purpose to do things for, right? Because this is around the time where me and Crush really wanted to just kind of quit. We got the East Coast Street Kingdom, mm-hmm. and then we had Street Brims, right? So right. we had people to pour into, and we had new little brothers. Like, dang, we have a whole new purpose behind right. of what we're doing. Even even with it, past the industry, this is like we're building community. Right. We're, we're building a brotherhood and we're showing them an alternative and how far we could go with Crump. Not just the dance, but everything else we're creating, like the websites, the, the, all that is the past merch. dance. Yeah. Man. We're, I, if you know me, I say Crumpers, we are the shit. Bro. That's my phrase. Yeah. You will hear it in the EXP. You'll hear me say it randomly. I think we're the shit because I feel like people don't understand how much of a genius we really are. Right. It's just that people, society will make us just think we're only good at dancing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, But we sure. created 
culture was created. What? The first generation created it, the next generations after elevated it, and now we have tradition, we have community, Man. we have everything. You know what I'm saying? And Definitely. that that's past dancing. Um, but just like to get back to the point, when it was split, it really hurt because, um, you know, people on the impact side, the leader on that end, his name was Clay. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a he was a pastor. He was a bishop. Shout bishop. out Clay. Yep. Shout, shout him out. Shout um, out Pops. But at that time, he made a mistake. He <laughs> got eight. We kind of told him, don't pick a side because we understood that if you pick a side. My apologies. No, you did. That will confuse the younger kids because mm -hmm. you pick a side. Now you're making them pick a side. Right. So we kind of try to give them much at this time. We don't want to think mature, but we are thinking mature because now we're saying, hey, don't pick a side. How about you leave both of us? Right. And you protect the people that just fought to be a part of East Street Kingdom and create a new thing, mm -hmm. but uphold the integrity that you got, like that motivated them. Which obviously didn't happen because he picked a side. And when that happened, it caused more hurt. More because strike. just like everything that happened on the West Coast, it happened on the East Coast. For sure. Oh, Street Kingdom split. Now you got Street Kingdom and Impact. Street Kingdom split on the East Coast. Now you got Street Kingdom and now you're forcing a East Impact. Yeah, legit. So we literally, if you were to fold the United States, it's identical. East Coast, West Coast. They, we, we, it, we, For real. We, Unlearn, you know what I'm saying? Man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's, and um, for, for kids to be where, where we grew up from, things that we're trying to change, on top of that, things that we find to be positive now seem to feel like a failure or a waste of time. Um, and then we hide behind the dance right. and, and politics, so we... We're crossing lines when we talk junk about each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it was just an ugly situation because we just split the crump community. Right. We we split it. At the end of the day, take a step back, we split it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If people want to, you know, everybody has wishes like, oh, man, I wish this person still danced at their prime. No, 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 no. One of the biggest mistakes is that we we split the crump community. Like that. Bad. That's, that's being, if we're going to be responsible we continue to split because even when it came to first generation, there's also a split with them as far as friendship. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. The creators of Crump, there's a split in that. So the next generation, we're continuing to split. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. that was really, really ugly. Um, and it put, a, put us at a pause. So how, how do you feel about everything now? Of course, time, time has gone by. You know, what, what we're yeah. talking about happened some time ago, people. Yeah. But again, it you know it caused a split within the community. Yeah, that's you know it's, it might seem a little different now, but you know people people are still affected by that. Yeah, I think that um, we identify now um, because we're older. It, you realize that it was just past a dancer that you looked up to. Right now, you're you're now if we're gonna be real, some people idolize. So the the, the simple mistake hurt you more because you was idolizing. Mm -hmm. But are we going to talk about that? You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, the hurt or the mistake, because at the end of the day, it was brothers that had a conflict. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Same thing when you talk about the creators of Crump. They're friends. I pray that you guys can start getting along again, man, because you guys know family. You guys are kin. Mm -hmm. Same thing when it came to Street Kingdom and all that. There's really kin between that. Right. Right? If bridges are burnt, cool. But um, I think that uh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of veering off. You're good. Uh, Open it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Open it up, man. I think that um, because of the mistake and how I feel about it now and where I'm at now, um, for us to heal, let's heal the stuff that was identified that's past dance. Right. Um, because we did gain a lot of wisdom mm -hmm. and because there's so many new generations, I feel like when you get to heal, we get to give that precious present to the new generation. Right. You know what I mean? I like do. we get to find the way we get to do it or we wish we did it, we we actually have now the wisdom and the knowledge to protect the the, the, the future. Mm -hmm. Um and that even causes people to face demons because now you don't get to reap your own cake. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't get to eat your own cake. Right. Are you are, but are you still willing to make the cake for the next generation? 
Hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I feel like that will separate me from a lot of other people, too. Got you. Understood. Not a lot of people are willing to do that, though. <laughs> Not at all. No, no. Be real. No, bro. All, no. People want to get theirs. I'm from the hood. I'm going to get mine before you get yours. And if you don't get yours, I'm going to still get mine. Yeah, I'm going to still get mine. Right. So that's that's some, that's some toxic, though. You get what Indeed. I'm saying? And Indeed. that, and that, that can make you drown. Indeed. Um, and that's a whole nother conversation. For sure. <laughs> well, look. This is Soultopia Radio. We really appreciate you, you know, coming through and talking with us. Bro. Man. Just like we were talking about. Look, bro. Yeah. Out of all this, you got me doing the background. You got you doing this platform. Let's go. We're geniuses, bro. Come on. We're let's... more than dancers. Come on. Yeah, man. Been that. More than just dancers. Been that, bro. Look at us. You got, you have a platform and you blessed me to be on your platform. Man. Because so it's, it's a I'm blessing. Honored, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you, you coming ready? on. This is Soultopia Radio, hey. the solo takeover. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, yeah, we, we solo gonna be back again. We don't know what episode we on, but we know we ain't at 501. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, solo definitely and be maybe back. Maybe I'll have some bars too if my ghostwriter. Hey, come on. You know what I mean? Sends what? in the lyrics. I hope. Yeah. So y'all remember this, all right? Hey, so top you forever. Thank forever. you, solo, for being here. Forever. Um, we love y'all for show. Bully.